All right, what is going on guys? And welcome to a new video. I'm gonna show you the time right here. Yeah, it is a whopping 6.44 p.m. I'm extremely exhausted and I work extremely early tomorrow. However, in order to get a good arm wrestling workout, I figured I would get a little pre-workout. Is it the smartest thing for me to do? Absolutely not. So what I'm going to do is do, um, let's do, let's, let's just do half a scoop of pre-workout. Um, what flavor are we dealing with today? So we have Rise Monster Berry Lime. Check this out. This stuff goes pretty hard. And today I wanted to focus on, okay, also I do apologize for my voice. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I am a little bit sick. Um, so I can't really apologize for that because, well, it's kind of out of my control. But today I wanted to focus on internal pressure and working on center in the hand. I've kind of went through this several times uh, in one of my videos and reasoning is, that mic working, oh yeah. Um, and the reason is I have a super match coming up with a guy by the name of Baby Hands. I'm gonna slap this pre work at him before we get going. Baby Hands, for those who don't know, he is a six foot four, six foot five, 260, 270, 280 pound dude, big presser. He is currently number one here on Vancouver Island. I am currently number two. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm closing in on like 300 pounds. <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, I'm about 212 to 215 roughly. So I, I, I'm at an extreme disadvantage. Now saying that, I think where I need to work on the most is literally fighting for that middle, making sure my elbow is completely in, making sure I have that grip strength, which I kind of already do, but also just getting that pressure inside because he, first of all, he's not used to me doing that, which I'm kind of spilling the beans here, um, but it's also something I need to be improving at. And also, you guys are uh, pretty familiar with a little bit of my background. I've struggled in the past when it comes to interconnectivity on my elbow, so just, for me to just work this position right here, it's gonna be extremely beneficial. And going up against a big presser, first of all, the guy's way heavier than me. Two, he is number two in the whole province because of his press. So I have some work to do. Um, and yeah, I think that's what we're gonna work on today. I do have some exciting news to spill with you guys very soon. It's something I'm working on. It's something that, um, yeah, it's, I, and it's actually nothing arm wrestling related and believe it or not, it's nothing pilot related, but it's something I'm gonna share with you guys here in the near future. I'm just a couple minor things, but I'm, I'm just very excited. So let's just slam this pre-workout down and get going with the workout. It's kind of what you guys wanna see. I'll be completely honest with you. I had a zero intention of working out tonight. I've working on, um, I work for a friend and I've been working a little bit on my own on a yacht gig. Um, I've been yacht detailing for several years as a part-time side gig. And so I was working on a yacht today. I'm completely burnt out and I work early tomorrow. But then last minute, I'm like, you know what? I could probably get a sick pump in. And that's why we're gonna slap this pre workout in. All right, we're working, we're working. I don't know how long that's gonna take to kick in, but hopefully it doesn't last too long because I'd like to sleep early tonight. So what we have on here right now is 25 pounds, nothing, nothing, too, nothing too crazy. Um, but also, yeah, one thing I wanted to mention too, I have been improving my strap work. One, because I'm getting stronger. But two, I think it's because of the multi-spinner. I'm, I'm starting to become a firm believer in the whole multi-spinner game. And at first I was like, what's the point of having the multi-spinner here, wrap around your hand, and then just have pressure coming out the top? I think the biggest uh, help that this tool has been in general has been when that pressure is coming off the top or the bottom of the hand, depending on how it's coming off, it's the stabilization of all the horse, of, of all the, I was gonna say horsepower, of all the weight ripping off your arm. And then as it's ripping off your arm, it's almost like you're, it's like a, you feel like shaky. 
But as you get stronger, it becomes more and more solid. And this is more prone to just ripping your hand off. So if you're able to hold heavier weight with this and stay solid here, when you get into the strap, it's kind of the same concept in my opinion. All right, let's just get going with the workout. Um, we will work with some bands as well. And I think, honestly, we, let's just get into the whole wrist wrench here. The wrist wrench. Man, my nose is so stuffed. I did do a live recently, by the way, and it was amazing. Okay, so as for sets, I think we're gonna maybe stick in the higher rep range and then maybe do a little bit of isos, meaning iso, isolated movements. So 25 pounds. I'm just gonna make sure I'm lined up here. Just get a little bit of blood flow through that forearm. I don't want to overburn myself yet. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. It's not bad. I've also been more prone to not filming at nighttime. And the biggest reasoning is because of lighting purposes. One, I'm lazy. Well, I wouldn't consider myself lazy, but I kind of see the way of the darkness just hitting the, here, let me show you guys. So I'm gonna show you what we're dealing with for lighting, just so you can have an idea. I'm gonna just rip this off. Oh no, that almost fell. So obviously we have my setup here, right? We look outside, it's not really so dark. It, well, yeah, no, so light, sorry, but it's, it's very blue and that's because of the, the uh, cap, the, my, not my filter, but my, how my screen is. I'm using this white light currently, which is fine, but if I really come out here, you could just see how dark it is. And unfortunately, I have yellow lighting in the house. You know, over there, it's actually not too bad, but everywhere else, it's kind of dark. So when I'm filming in here, um, obviously the darker it gets, the more grainy it gets. So I kind of have to just set this up. I think this light is also helping a lot. Here, I'll show you. I'm gonna turn this light off and you guys be the judge here. So lights going off, boom, lights on. So I, it definitely has an effect for sure. But that's been really the biggest reason why I film more in the daytime versus at night. One, obviously the pump's a little bit sicker in the daytime just because you can have a sick pre-workout or have a coffee or something and not really worry too much about sleep. But if you're a little bit of a maniac like me and you're having pre-workout at almost 7 p.m. while you're exhausted, it's probably not the best idea. So let's do another set here, 25 pounds. I really like to focus on the whole movement, like wrist nice and straight. Just don't cheat, uh, unless if the purpose is to cheat. Little bit of internal pressure, squeeze in that forearm as if I'm the match is happening. <sighs> now my match is November 16th from, what are we, October 5th? It's just over a month away, a month and 11 days to be exact. Do I think this is going to make a difference one month out? I think just a little bit. I feel like just the setup, the pressure already hitting the arm, just the side pressure. I think you, you, can, only, you can only get better, right? It can't hurt you as long as you don't overdo it or burn yourself out. My left bicep didn't like that. So, the way I see it is if there's one, because realistically speaking, if you if you were prepping one month out of any, any tournament, any competition, you can't just go ham on your biceps and expect in one month you've, you've gained, what, like an inch, an inch on the biceps, and you've gained so much strength. For me, you're more likely to, you know, strengthen your tendons just a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a little bit, even if you don't really notice it, and that's just... I mean, that's just the way it is with your tendons. Your tendons rip apart, they kind of repair. Same thing with muscle, obviously. Um, but I feel like your tendon, it's, as long as you treat your tendons properly, the recovery shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I feel like in a very short period of time, your tendons could do better overall when it comes to healing. But if you're dealing with muscle, trying to gain mus muscle gain versus like tendon gain, yeah, that's probably what I'm trying to get to. 
I just feel like in a shorter term, as crazy as it sounds, I, I truly believe your tenons could outperform if we're directly comparing to muscle. You, you can't tell me in one month you've gained so much strength in your biceps. I mean, listen, I've been working out for about 10 years and I'm finally gaining muscle and that's just because I'm taking a whole pharmacy of stuff right behind me. Um, okay, so let's just change up the angle. I'm gonna change up the weight as well and I'll let, oh geez, Louise. And then we will, let's just go right to the side. This should be fine. I also want to bring you guys up just a little bit too. I apologize. Oh no, dude. Okay, 25 pounds. The, the way I had my hand against the handle wasn't too bad. Definitely enough pressure in my forearm. Um, but let's just add a little bit of weight. So let's do 10 pounds. I'm going to slap a 10 on here. And now we will currently be working with 35 pounds. And what truly makes this exercise so difficult, in my opinion, is, you know, most people can, most people can forearm curl this. Even if swinging, it's fairly easy. But it's when you really put that interconnectivity, not driving your whole arm, but I'm just talking like put that pressure to the side, like a straight side pressure, lock in, squeeze, high straight wrists, and then from this position, while you're still locked in, then you start your forearm curl, but you're doing everything uh, in a non, <coughs> excuse me, in a non-cheating movement. It's not like I'm driving sideways and my arms all over the place. I'm literally bringing my elbow in, a little bit of pressure, and then that angle is coming right off the side. So it's really forcing me to work everything connected. And I think that's what's truly um, worth it for this exercise. And what's actually turned me on more to doing something like this versus just straight forearm curls. Like I contemplated bringing a cylinder in here just to do forearm cups, but then I'm like, I can do the same thing with this if not better because it's working the fingertips and I can actually bring it in and get all the pressure coming off, so. All right, we are now dealing with 35 pounds. So I'm gonna start off straight, bring in that right in there for that pressure on the inner and then Not gonna lie, that 35 pounds was pretty hard. <laughs> not, not easy, not easy. Okay. So like I said before, I'm gonna bring in my arm here. You guys can see I'm pretty much parallel, but then I'm also going to shoot my, my arm directly inward so the internal rotation starts. My wrist is straight, and then I start the movement. So if you look at that cable pulley, I don't know if you can see it on here, but Um, it's, it's on a degree of like maybe 20 degrees. What's also very interesting about this exercise, and I'm feeling this right now, if you kind of come in too much sideways and you're doing something like this, your bicep actually gets activated and kind of believe it or not, when I'm in this position and, I, and I'm right here and I'm doing this, at least on my right arm, I don't really feel too much bicep. I feel a lot of inner forearm connectivity, everything through here. So when I come in and then I start my exercise, we're chilling. All right. 35 pounds. I think we will bring this up. And I want to bring you guys back on a better angle. I feel like I got your message. So have fun. Okay. I love you. See ya. Um, Okay, so we're doing it with 35 pounds. I want to bring it up. I feel a little good on my right arm. What are we dealing with? 35? I think we can do, let's try 45. I think 45 pounds could go pretty hard. And if I start to feel a little bit of pain, um, I think 45, we're going to cap it off. But I honestly think we're pretty good, man. I think 45 is going to be maybe the limit of where this internal rotation can go. I'll start here, come in to the side. 
And uh, that's the way she goes. So there was something I wanted to talk about, but I can't seem to find it. Mm. Oh, is it about the, yeah, it was about the live. I, I apologize, I didn't. Uh... So I did a live a couple days ago and I had people from Thailand, Singapore, where else? Where? New Zealand, New Zealand was one of them. And I think France as well. Please tell me when you guys are actually available. I know you try to convert it to Pacific Standard Time, so PST. But some of you guys were saying weeknights, and some of you were saying the week like weekend nights. So yeah, week weekends, like weekend evenings. Let me know. I would love to actually do a live where everybody could just jump on and we can chat. And I had a really, really kind comment on. Well, it was in the it was in the chat. And it was something along the lines of, you have the potential to be one of the biggest arm wrestling YouTubers. And I don't say this lightly, but this, this genuinely means a lot. This is someone who's watching from across the world. My content, I know it, it could possibly be a little bit all over the place, but my purpose to filming arm wrestling content, and, and this is just the beginning, we're, we're talking right now, but from what I see in the future, is to just bring something a little different than what everyone else is doing. Um, part of me doesn't even really want to watch most arm wrestlers. I just want to kind of do my own thing and stay in my own lane. But when I did get that comment, um, it, it, was, it was definitely something eye-opening. And I'm just very appreciative that I have people that are watching me from, you know, just all over the world. I, I think it's amazing. So I am just truly so thankful. I wanted to bring that up. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but the purpose of that conversation, the purpose of the statement was, please let me know when you guys are actually available to be on live. I'd love to chat with you. Um, I have done some lives possibly at the wrong times. It, one was a Friday evening, Saturday evening on a holiday weekend. And nobody was like, there was a few people in the chat. And I was kind of making fun of myself saying like, if you guys are in a chat at this time of day, you guys are doing something wrong. You should be out partying, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then there's like a, an idiot like me just sitting on YouTube uh, chatting away. But yeah, please let me know when, when works best for you guys. I'd love to set something up where we can actually, I don't know, chill out for maybe an hour, a couple hours, just hang out. We don't even have to talk arm wrestling, um, but whatever you guys want. So let's leave it there. 45 pounds. Let's try internal rotation. Okay, here we go. I just found a trick too. When doing this movement, from now on, I'm going to look at the cable as it's pointed towards me. So look at, give it, I'll show you here. So right now when I start the movement, it's right here, right? Perfectly vertical from me here, like perfectly vertical. And then what I do is then I go in, it comes off, the weight comes off the ground. I see the cable coming off an angle. And then from this moment, then I can actually start my Contract the movements. Nothing crazy, nothing wild, just strict internal pressure. Um, I think that's my new, that might be my new favorite exercise. Not good at it. I have 45 pounds on, but I don't know if my left can do 45. So let's give that a shot. Um, but yeah. Oh, I do have an update for you guys. I do have an update. So yeah, let me, let me just do this first. Okay, so straight. I don't know if my left arm can do it though. Oh, that's tough. Because I'm a little bit overworked, um, I'm not gonna go so hard on my left. I do wanna go with my right one more. Let's go a little higher on the right. Um, we should try something a little harder. So we currently have 25, 35, 45. I'm gonna add another 15 pounds. So that should be 60 pounds. Here, I'll show you. 60 pounds internal straight pressure and let's just see if I can do this. I feel like this would be some solid weight. I also do want to mention something too. I'm thinking of this right now. So recently I had done my full back pressure PR um, 
And for some reason, it was actually in the same height of this. I had my, where is it? My Mazarenko uh, back pressure straps, what I call it. If you guys haven't seen the video, go watch it, seriously. It, you guys will find out my PR is. I'm about to tell you anyway, spoiler alert. But in my brain, in my head, I was thinking, if I can hit anywhere between 140 to 115 pounds, I'm, I'll be happy with myself. Now, this is also coming from someone who, I haven't done a back pressure PR in uh, probably five years. So not, I'm, I swear to God, like off a table, I'm actually going to go look because I have a YouTube video of me doing this when I first made my YouTube channel. I, I'm actually going to go look at this after because I'm genuinely curious. Um, I think I was like 80 kilograms or something. Yeah, very, very small at the time compared to what I am now. Anyways, so um, I start this back pressure. And I go up to 120 pounds. No, 120? Yeah, 120 pounds. Now, before I did the lift, I was a little bit overworked, a little bit beat up. And I was a little disappointed. I, I, I truly was. I was like, you know what? 120, it's pretty, pretty good weight. So I just, I just let it go. The, this is the thing, though. I don't really watch too many people's back pressure lifts. I don't really watch too many people's lifts. Unless if I want to compare myself, I'll try to look it up. So I post the video, I let it go, and then one of the first comments is like, dude, why are you expecting to do uh, 140 or 150 pounds? That's like some world-class, <coughs> excuse me, that's like some world-class uh, back pressure coming from extremely high pullers and coming from a national puller like you, uh, you know, who's ranked in, his, in the country, that's extremely good. And then I kind of thought about it a little bit and I was like, you know what? I'm actually very happy with 120 pounds. I truly know I could have possibly done a couple more, but for several people to be like, hey, look, dude, you know, you're underestimating yourself. That's an extremely high number for what you're doing. I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, yeah, okay, so let's get this lift done. So 60 pounds, I believe, what are we doing? So 25, 35, 45, 55, 60. Can I do 60? Off vertical, internal, couple reps. Let's go. Now keep in mind this is essentially vertical, so you guys can have a gist of how strong you are in comparison to myself. If I can even do this. All right, ready? That's off a little bit. Ooh, see, they're straight. There's not. They're straight. So I would still call it, uh, maybe the last rep was a little bit cleaner, but I'm still going to count that. A uh, little bit of pressure in the middle, 60 pounds on the dot, which is like, what, 28 kilograms or something? I think that's not bad at all. But let's let this go. Excuse me. Dude, my fucking, um, whew, my burping. My nose is runny. I'm burping. Um, okay, let's do, I'm thinking now, let's just work with some of the, yeah, let's do some multi-spinner work. <clears throat> Actually, maybe we can figure out my, my PR right now on the multi-spinner, but I think I'm going to bring this guy up just a little. So what are we working with now? I don't, I don't think I have a, a um, multi, yeah, multi-spinner. I don't think I have a multi-spinner PR. So what's the highest we can go right here? Yeah, we can work with this. But we already have an issue. Uh, I'm going to need to lower the weight maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? F screw it. Let's see if we can do 60 pounds multi-spinner on the right hand. How smart is this? Uh, not smart at all. And here, I want to show you what we're dealing with. Oh, no, dude. Give me a sec. Give me one sec. Come on, dude. Okay, there we go. My wing nuts are not going on properly. I'm going to pull the camera off so you guys can get adjust. Hopefully my light doesn't fall. But as you can see, just look right here, the cable straight. There's like... It's, it's legit full tension. So to reiterate, we have a 25, 
10, 10, 15, so we have a whopping 60 pounds. And I'm gonna attach this multi-spinner to the, um, come on. Yeah, this is why you don't film with one hand. Okay, there you go. I'll set you guys back up. Look how dark it is out here. Well, you can see if I, yeah. Very pretty outside, by the way. Okay. Very pretty outside when uh, it's nighttime. The city of Victoria is very beautiful. So now we are dealing on an angle. Oh God, it's gonna be a weird one. Ugh. Look, just like this. Okay. You see, I don't even know if I'll be able to, and this is no warm up on the, on the wrist. Well, techni technically it was because, um, yeah. Ugh. Okay, let's, uh, let's give this PR, let's give this a PR try. Can I do 60 pounds? God literally knows. What is, like, what is a PR anyway? Is it, do I have to do a rep? No, a single. Okay, let's, I think that's, a, I think that's one, right? A single. No warm up off the multi-spinner specifically. Um, and this thing's fucking weird. Okay. Okay, 60 pounds, multi-spinner. Um, you guys can see how this is. Let's go. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Jesus. 60 pounds. Is that good? Like, I think that's good. I think it's good. Is that good? And now, that, ouch, my wrist, dude. I feel like I'm going to give that a little bit of a break, and then I want to try a little bit higher. Um, the problem is I should probably be working on, yeah. What is my, I want to know what my max is right now. And listen, we're going to try, I'm, I'm going to bring the weight up just one, just one. I'm going to add another 10 pounds, so we're going to do a 70 pounds. Can I do it? I don't know. Is it smart for me to do it? Probably not. But 70 pounds, multi-spinner, just coming on right here and holding. Like, my wrist is this the whole time. So when I'm sitting here holding, it's just, it's not coming, yeah, it's not coming out. But what I do have to do is lower this and actually add some weight on because the way it's positioned, it's literally not... Oh, possible. And I do apologize for the sound. Oh. Okay, so we are adding a 10 pounds, a 10 pounds multi-spinner. So this will come to 70 pounds. Now, I do not want to go any heavier than this if I'm even able to lift this. So, the fun of this video is Keanu is going to attempt a PR and if I get the PR, well, that's my PR for the day. How about that? And if it looks like I can do more, we're gonna find out another time because I can't, I can't go too, too hard on my wrist here. It goes up. And this goes up. But I, I do want you guys to be the judge of this lift. But one, I know, but two, uh, being the judge of the lighting scenario. I know when I throw this on a TV or my phone, it can kind of look okay. But from your perspective, when I'm filming it, especially like it's, it's dark out, dude. It's, it's extremely dark. So for me to be rocking a yellow light, another yellow couple lights there, and then I have a white light just behind you that you saw earlier. How does it turn out for you? Is this decent quality? Is it not? <laughs> um, yeah. I feel like I should give this a second, 713, 713, um, okay. I feel like, how do I end the video? I might do 70 pounds on this, and then might do a little bit of bands to end it off, and I think that's, that's going to be it. Because I know the video I did before was like, what, around 24 minutes? And we have four, yeah. Honestly, I'll probably just end it there, that way you guys are not... Sitting here for 30 minutes, I have had some, uh, I wouldn't say call it complaints, but I've had people suggest that the longer video formats, you guys don't apparently have as much time, which, hey, I'm, I'm cool with that, I'm cool with that. Um, 
But yeah, oh, before I get into this, ooh, a lift. If you don't know, I am going to Florida, Orlando, Florida, November 22nd, which is the East versus West, what, 15 or 16? Yeah, one of those. Um, no, sorry, it's the East versus West Challenger Series. But I will be competing in the turn. No, I'm competing at the Challenger Series. No, I'm not. Okay, I get so confused with this. So on November 21st, Chance Shaw is throwing an East versus West. It's either a Challenger Series event or it's just a regular tournament. Um, and I will be competing at that one. So if you guys don't know, if, if you're going to happen to be around, honestly, come say hi. Come say what's up. I'm the, I'll be visiting Florida for a couple days. If they haven't got decimated by several hurricanes, because there's another one on the way as we speak, which is crazy. Let <coughs> Anyways, um, and I'll give you a quick, quick update as well on my financial situation when it comes to my YouTube money for a new camera. I know we're a little far off. My money is invested, so um, it's extremely volatile, volatile currently. But as we speak, we are dealing with a whopping, can you see, can you see? There you go. $366. I think I have invested like 410 or 420. Um, but I do have it in crypto. No, not no financial advice. It's in crypto. So yeah, we're still far off from a camera or a lens. But uh, there's your little update because when I do have enough money in that account, it's going directly for a new camera. And this money is strictly only money I've made on YouTube. So I figured I would share it with you guys so you guys can follow along. All right, let's get to the PR, and then I think we're going to end the video. All right, so as you can see, we are fairly solid on the hand. Straps coming across. My, my thumb muscle's pretty engaged. Um, it's going to be a difficult one. Okay. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do, though, on this one, bear me out, the way this cable is placed, it's, like, sideways, and as I'm pulling, it's coming off to the side. So I might try... I might try to help it by pulling my left hand. I'm going to let it go. Um, so you guys be the judge, but uh, I'll be the first to be honest with myself. If I feel like I couldn't have done it, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you. Um, but I just, the, from the angle, it's kind of weird. So I'm going to just get some pressure. Here we go. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. That might be too heavy. Uh, I get her, ouch. Honestly, it felt like my wrist went like, it was like this and then it went like this. So, is that good? Is that bad? Um, 70 pounds, I think I'm going to count that. One, because I'm hurt a little bit. I'm overworked. I'm extremely tired. It's late at night. I have an excuse to say why. Um, and two, it, I don't believe, I have to rechuck the camera footage, but I don't believe my wrist went backwards. I think it just locked like this, which it is what it is. Um... So let's just call it for now. I'm going to write this down in my phone for a um, cupping tool. Devin, yeah, Mr. What are these tools called? Mr. Devin? Devin cupping tool? I don't know. Yeah, so cupping tool, 70 pounds PR is what I'll call it. You guys be the judge. If you don't like it, uh, it's all subjective. I kind of feel like it's, it's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm going to write down 70 pounds. But that's probably going to end it for tonight. I'm exhausted. I'm going to get this video up. And honestly, I might even just go live while I'm uploading this. If you guys want to come on live, um, just turn your notification bell on. Like the video. You know what to do. Subscribe as well. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.